Good morning world from Jeff's little engine service. So I have two more John Deere lawnmowers to fix here. I'm going to bypass this Kawasaki engine and go straight to the Briggs model because I like Briggs. So this is a John Deere uh, 14PZ, five horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine. Real good lawnmower, uh, not self-propelled, but uh, it doesn't matter. It's lightweight and easy to push. These are pretty good lawnmowers. I'm not a big fan of John Deere residential equipment, but uh, every once in a while they, they do a good job. So I was trying to start it up and then I uh, turned it over. Let me show you what I found. That's brutal, man. This thing must have ran out of oil and thrown a rod. This engine needs to be replaced. So it's definitely time to retire this engine. Get this thing off of here. It's freezing out here today, about 34 degrees. This is what I look like. And, uh... We're going to fix some stuff today, so let's get to work. Got my air tool out here, running from the garage. Hopefully I can get this engine off of here pretty quick. Going to have to disconnect this here. And we have a stop cable to deal with and what a throttle cable to deal with here. So, I'm going to have to take off the blade and uh, the engine. It could use a good cleanup under there too. Look how dirty it is. Looks like I've got my uh, cheering section coming to help me out. So this is a 9 16th socket here. Easy enough. Now I have the motor mount bolts to deal with. Looks like those are a bigger size bolt. And there's three of them. So now, as you can see, the engine can lift right off of here. But we do need to disconnect the cables first. So this is the stop cable. This is the cable that's connected to the handle up here. And what you do is you just find that spot there and you pinch it. Probably would have been a better idea to do this before I disconnected the engine. But anyways, you can see how it works. And you move the cable like this and it pulls right out. Now we need to disconnect the throttle cable. So this is the tool I use. It's a 5 16 And then to get it off the lever here, you just pull up on it, and then it comes right out. And we're done with this. We'll find an engine to put on there, and everything will work good as new. Maybe we should put a Honda on there. What do you think? So all these engines are good. Uh... Maybe we should put the Toro on there. The one thing you do need to check is the uh, length of the shaft. And the diameter of the shaft may be different, so uh, that may or may not be able to work for you. You know, I think this is the one I'm going to use right here. 
good old John Deere colors uh, yeah let's do it it's a Honda engine let's put this bad boy on there okay here's that Honda engine and the shaft and you see the blade adapter and here's the uh, Briggs and Stratton engine I took off it does have a bigger shaft so we're not going to be able to, we're not going to be able to use that blade adapter so if we go with this engine uh, I can use a blade adapter just like this but I do need to find a blade that will work this is a pretty common blade adapter so I'm sure I have a blade around here that will work okay so let's see if I can do this here and you will also have to check um, to make sure the bolts are the, the correct size because some of them are different sizes but this these look like they fit so that's perfect so getting these bolts started can be kind of tricky just have to be patient take your time you can get it I have one started. Let's see if I can get this other one in here. All right. Got it. All right. One more bolt to get in here. Time to tighten those babies up. I'll finish these up by hand just so I can uh, just so I know they don't get over tightened. So here's the blade I took off. You can see what, what it looked like where the adapter mounted up, and here's the one that'll uh, work for this Honda engine. You can see they're the same length. I lined them up on that side and it's lined up on this side. So this is good, we can use this. And for this style of blade adapter, this is what the bolt and washer looks like. And I can see on this blade adapter, it's actually missing one of the pins, but um, it will work. And I'll go ahead and replace that at a later date or so I will tell you guys. It's going to work just fine. Just make sure that you get the blade onto the adapter flush and solid before you tighten things down, otherwise you can bend something. Well, that's nice. Look at that, it's stripped off. Okay, so we'll have to figure out, uh, have to get a little bit longer bolt. So you can see this bolt stripped. I don't think it was long enough. We'll try this one, see if it works. It's the same thread pitch, of course. Hopefully I didn't strip anything up in there. Yeah, I think that's the right size there. Here we go. And I can see that this plate is flat now, so I know that it's tightened up all the way. Tighten up these motor mount bolts. Yeah, they're pretty tight. Yep. Ah, yeah. Okay. I think we're good.
So luckily the stop cable I think is going to hook up perfectly. Let's see if that works. Yeah, I think that'll work. This engine here, uh, it just automatically revs up to where it needs to be so you don't need the throttle cable at all. So I can take this off. All right, let's give her a little bit of gas. It's been sitting a while in my garage, but I'm pretty sure when I put it away, it was, uh, it was all good. So keep our fingers crossed. Give it a shot. 